Hi, my name is Sabrina Formica. I'm a jewelry designer from Italy. In this tutorial, I will introduce you to the low temperature enamels technique. We will need an enamel stove set where you will find all the things you need to work properly. You will need enamel powder. You can choose the color you prefer. Brushes. We will need our pieces to be glazed. Before to start, we need to heat and warm up the stove. This is important to make the glaze perfect. I will just light the candles that we have in the set. Now we will just pour the enamel on our pieces. In order to do this, I will use the baking paper and I recommend you to use a mask just to avoid breathing the powder. In order to make the work easier, you can just put the piece on a stand so that the excess of powder will go on the ground. Be careful when you put your enamel because if you have holes, they should be open. You want your enamel glazed in the hole. If it happens that the powder is inside the hole, use just a pin or a nail to open it. So now we need to remove the powder from the little hoops we created before. I will use just a brush and it's ready to be glazed. So for the earring, I will leave the flower in this way while for the ring, I will attach the rounded flower on top and they will glaze together in the stove set. Now we will just put the pieces inside our stove and we will wait for three, four minutes to be glazed. I will do just one by one. We can check sometimes and be careful because it can burn. We will just open it. You can see it's working, but it still need time. Now we can put our ring. In this case, I will also put the flower on the top, so it will be multi-layer. If some powder falls on the metal, don't worry, we can clean it after. It's done. If there is some little space without animal, it's not a problem because we can put again the animal and do the process again. So if there is something wrong, you can always manage redoing this. Now, this is our final result. The ring is done. What we need to combine and to make wearable are the earrings and the necklace. Ready to put these techniques into practice? Join me and my botanical jewelry online course and follow my entire creative process from scratch.